week we are learning about justice. We're going to be considering the life of Harriet Tubman. She was an African-American lady who lived during the 19th century in the era of imperial slavery. Harriet herself escaped slavery um, in her 20s with her brothers and then returned to the South to rescue others. We're going to learn from her example how we can bring justice in the way that God wants us to. As a child, Harriet was treated very cruelly as a slave and she became um, sick. In fact, she experienced narcolepsy for the rest of her life as a result of a beating which she received at a young age, causing her to fall asleep suddenly and have head injury pain for the rest of her life. But this didn't stop her from going back to rescue other slaves in later life. In fact, she rescued over 300 slaves from slavery, making over 19 trips back into the South and bringing all of those people back to safety in the Northern States. She became known as a prominent abolitionist and a political activist for the course of people in slavery. None of this was done out of anger or outrage, even though she had every right to be angry, having experienced the injustice of slavery herself and having watched others she loved suffer. Now instead, Harriet took her direction from God. She was so well known for listening to God and following his directions that she became known as a Moses. She shows us that when seeking to pursue justice, we can do this from a place of listening to God and obeying his direction and that when we do this we will always have peace even in the midst of danger. Harriet was so unconcerned for her own life that she said, I can only die once. In this she was echoing what Paul said in Philippians 1.21 when he said, to live is Christ but to die is gain. She was so interested in bringing justice and so committed to this that she was fearless enough not to fear even for her own life. See, slave owners had set out a price for her head. They were going to give $40,000 to anyone who captured or killed her, but she didn't care. In Harriet's pursuit of justice, she showed an intense and admirable commitment to love and humility as well, which are things which we've looked at in the last couple of weeks. Because it says in John 15, 13, that greater love has no one than this, but that they lay down their lives for their friends. This was something which Harriet did for people she didn't even know. She consistently laid down her life and that was her way of bringing justice. Not only that, but she wasn't selfish. Instead of just enjoying her life of freedom, she continually went back to give to others what she'd already experienced herself because she knew it was more blessed to give than to receive. Now from all of this, we can understand that God loves justice. In fact, in Isaiah 58, it says that the fast, the type of um, dedication that he chooses for us is to loose the bonds of oppression and injustice and to set the oppressed free, to break every yoke. God is so committed to justice that he leads people like Harriet and like you and me to show justice to the world around us. From Harriet Tubman's example, we can learn that when we are directed by God in bringing justice to others, when we show love and humility in this and we don't do it from a place of anger, we can actually have a peace which doesn't even make sense even when we're in danger for the things we're standing for. Harriet Tubman is an example to us all of how God can use us to bring justice to the world around us.